uh, honestly, there was only so much money that we were getting paid, and Song Joong-gi got hurt, and then the production went an extra couple months. That means my scenes got extended. So I wasn't going to make a lot of money anyway. And then I, I basically came back, and I started driving Uber. So I bought a, I got, I got an Uber. I think I never told this story. So which role was that, the one that had the 13 episodes? Iris 2. And then fr- from there, you've just... So grateful for that show. That was yeah. Cool. Yeah. And yeah. since then, you've, you've had a lot of different roles, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was... Uh, then uh, uh, Descents of the Sun was the, was the big one. Yeah. That was, that, was, uh, that, was, that was crazy. That was crazy. That was I mean, that, that show was huge. Internationally, yeah. I mean... It's crazy. Amazing. Like, you know, everyone you talk to, Descendants of the Sun, everyone watch that show. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure for yourself that just would have blown up and your, like, your star value, your your brand mm. would have just developed because of that. What kind of flow on did you experience? Uh, man, when I finished, um, man, I was dead broke when I finished that, that Descends the Sun. So, I, I had to go back to… How come? To go, just, um, uh, honestly, there was only so much money that we were getting paid, and Song Joong-gi got hurt, and then the production went an extra couple months. That means my scenes got extended. So I wasn't going to make a lot of money anyway. And then I, I basically came back, and I started driving Uber. So I bought a, I got, a, I got an Uber. I got, never told this story. So I, got a, I got a, so I started driving Uber when I got back to L.A. So I'm going to do Uber, and I'm going to oh. do this. So I'm driving around, you know, doing all, you know, and… And you're famous. I'm, well, not… Wait, wait. So this show this for, hasn't been to, ah, been to I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So I'm doing this in January. Yeah. And then I think it released January 28th or February 28th. Ah, okay. And then it started blowing up, right? And my Instagram was going from 700 followers to like 7,000, 12,000. My friend John Kim's calling, hey, your Instagram was like, what, what's… This show was like, Cor- dude, get back here. I'm like, I really can't right now. I'm driving, I'm driving Uber, man. John, like, basketball <laughs> John? John Kim, yeah. yeah. And so I'm driving them to boom, boom, boom. And then, got, and then people were getting in the car. And they're like, oh, oh. And I was like, okay, I need to get back to Korea, man. I need to get to Korea somehow. This is gonna, this is ridiculous. I gotta get back. So Whoa. I borrowed like five grand from my mom. And then I, I just flew up. And that was it. Then I went out. I, I stayed. And I went, walked up Gangnam, Gangnam Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was crazy. Like everyone. And I was like, oh, this is nuts. So… Wow, uh, that that's was, uh, crazy. Yeah. Were there Korean people in the taxi saying, oh? Yeah, I could, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like <laughs> a lot of not everyone does that in LA. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that had to be a Korean thing. Yeah, that's crazy. That, that must have been a little unusual, like having that happen. It was, dude, everything was unusual. Did you like it? Everything was, do you like it? Uh, yeah, it was, it was like, I was, it was a successful show, man. I did something right. Like it was, like, we all did something right, you know? And yeah. Timing was good. You know, everything kind of worked, right? And then I'm so… This business, timing has to be right mm-hmm. on. Yeah. Everything, everything has, has to, to work. Mm-hmm. And then it's got to be successful. Yeah. yeah. So that was… I mean, it was huge for everyone. Did you enjoy being recognized and well-known all of a sudden? <sighs> you know, in the early 2000s, like, I was pretty… Rec- like, before there was internet here, and I had this um, huge TV commercial called uh, UTO. U-T-O. And it was uh, SK Telecom is big, small phone. And normally back then, they only had um, actors do it, but they had me do it. And uh, dude, it was, it was pretty pretty big. And I remember this not being gone from Korea and coming back a couple years later. And man, fame is so temporal. It's you know, crazy. It's so temporal. Right? They don't, mm. You're hot one minute, you're not the next. So mm. I, was, I had experienced that. Yeah. So when I, when I, this, all this stuff is happening in 2016, I'm like, okay, this is cool. This is great. How can I put myself in the right situation. Mm-hmm. But I know that they're going to forget about you. Which is true. Because after a couple of years, I got, you know, it's like, you're not really… Yeah. No one's… It's a wave, man. It really is. Yeah, it's it's it, a roller coaster. It, it's like that everywhere. I mean… You, is it like that in every country? I thought it was just… You know what I thought yeah, it was? It's like, it, you look at… I think, you know, for example, look at someone like Tom Cruise. If he stops making movies… Bro, and everywhere he goes, people are stopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once, once he starts… St- Stops once he stops making movies and you know takes a break from the public eye. Mm-hmm. You know people are gonna stop recognizing him as much as they are now. What do you think? I, yeah, absolutely. It's all about you have to be 
maintain a position in the public's eye. You know, you have to keep being on television or in film or if it's music, you have to keep doing something. Yeah. I think to maintain that level. Obviously, you're going to have fans who are always going to be there for you. But to kind of be in that mainstream, you, you've got to be doing something at that level consistently. It, look at athletes. You know, once you retire, you kind of you fall off a bit. It, it's always going to be there. Oh, did you like that? There's plenty more where that came from. Subscribe. Smash that like button. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any more content.